what is going on? I was just lowering it in. Oh my God. Oh my God, I got a bloody bream. Boom. Right, I'm back on the bank and you join me on the club lake. So I was here last time when I did the float fishing and um, ended up switching for carp and had a few off the top. Really enjoyed the little session, but I decided to come back aiming more towards the carp. But with, um, I brought some eggs with me, which I want to catch a fish on. Now I have caught carp on it before, but it's been a while since I've used it and that is my center pin reel. So I've decided to put that on the first rod I ever owned, which I brought with me, which is a John Wilson Avon Quiver. I've teamed that up with the centre pin and I'm going to see if I can catch a fish out the margin doing a bit of stalking and um, I reckon it's going to be good fun but um, anyway I'll talk you through what I'm doing a little bit later for now I need to have a good walk around put a little bit of bait in a few spots and see if I can get any fish coming up on that marginal shelf and have a little bit of a grub around if it doesn't work I will switch over the floaters and see if I can get a fish on the top but anyway let's start off with putting a bit of bait in see if we can find a few fish get them feeding and see if we can have one Let's crack on with it. Putting a little bit of bait in, I've got some 8 mil boiling. I'm literally just putting a little trickle of them in. The idea is basically to get maybe one or two fish, have a little bit of grub around, and then I'll just lower a rig on them. And then I've got some of the uh, pellet there as well, DNA pellet. So I've baited that in there, I've put a little bit along here, and I'm gonna go a bit further down to the left. I've literally just left my kit here for the time being. A few baits up under the trees, along here. The safe bank, you can, you can fish over here. People obviously fish off of it, there are swims here. But you don't get um, you don't get many people along here. There you go. Fish is just nutted out there. We'll see a few along here. So what I'm going to do on this bit is just spread bait. Basically, just spread some bait around. There's bound to be some fish about. Well, one's rolled out there, so there's obviously fish about. All right. Hello. Is that fishing? Yeah, yeah, kit's just over here. Let's have a little look around. Not really on. I know, I couldn't believe it. It's pretty quiet, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty hot. I think it's just one person around there, isn't it? Yeah, right? just yeah. Oh, there were a right. couple of guys over there, but well, yeah. they've just packed up. They can't believe it. She's got a piece of bread, which I was going to use on the lift method. But I've taken the shot off, I'm just using it straight through. And there's a little float on there. Let's see if any of these fish come close enough. I've been feeding floaters in. There's one coming through now. You can probably see that wake of that fish. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a tiny one, that is. Right, finally got one hooked up. Oh, is that a bloody bream? Oh my god, I got a bloody bream. <laughs> oh, that's typical. 
Well, that wasn't the intended species. <coughs> Not the intended species. Ah, oh well. Right, there we go. It's got a bit more weight to it. Oh, the battery's nearly gone. <laughs> Typical. Doesn't seem too bad of a fish, though. Could have had him then. <laughs> a bit more. It's ridiculous. Ten, um, six pound line, a size 16 specimen barbell hook. It just shows how good. The kit is really. Oh, he's in the net. Right, first one then, off the top, on the float rod, happy days. Nice little result, let's slip her back, see if we can get another one. Right then, so I've uh, had a carp um, off the top, good bit of fun. Um, I've been having major problems with the ducks this time round. They've literally been absolutely destroying me. Because I'm fishing so finely, um, with like a nice light setup, I don't think they can see the line as easy and they don't seem to be spooking off of it. So they're absolutely destroying the mixers when they go out there. And then a lot of the time they're trying to, they are actually picking the hook bait up and I'm having to move out of the way and then I'm having to recast. And basically um, it's just been a little bit frustrating in that sense, but I managed to have one, which is cool. Now, the whole point of this video is obviously to catch a fish on the center pin. And what I've been doing in between trying to get fish on the um, floater rod is I've been putting a little bit of bait in a few margin spots and seeing if I can get uh, get some spots going, basically. So I've come around to this swim, which is sort of opposite the car park on this little sort of point bit. And a lot of the guys cast across to here. Um, I've cast across to this bit in the past. Generally in the winter, fish sort of over on the other bank over there near the car park, and then just sort of, sort of lob it over this way. Um, the fish do seem to like it along here. Um, when you feed on the, fishing on the bottom and that. And I basically just spread some eight millers along here, a bit of sweet corn, a bit of pellet, and um, I've come along and then basically I'm gonna just lower in the um, center pin on the float with the lift method. I'm gonna put a little eight mil boilie on a little hair rig. I'm gonna just lower that in and see if I can um, get a few fish doing that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put drop it in and then when I've dropped it in, I'm literally going to just sit down behind the rod and um, just have a little bit to eat because I'm absolutely starving at the moment. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, hopefully it goes absolutely ripping off and um, we can have another fish before we go home. So let's get it out there and see if we can have one. What the hell? Wow, what's going on? What is going on? I was just lowering it in. Oh my god. What the hell has just happened? 
some of just I think some of it's just taken it on a drop in the margin. <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. Oh yes, come on. Oh my god, that was absolutely ridiculous. Oh. Right then, well, you would have probably just seen, I just got absolutely smashed up by a carp. Clearly was too undergunned and I thought it was a bit risky, bit stupid to be fair, but I didn't expect the fish to go off at the rate it did and kite all the way around to my left. Unfortunately, it's got smashed up. Obviously, there's not really any tackle there. It's not really going to bother it. And I was fishing a barbless hook, so it's soon going to going to shed that to be fair. But um, anyway, it's um, a bit of a frustrating end to the session because I'm actually going to call it quits now and get going. Um, the line on that centre pin reel is now absolutely ruined as it's obviously gone through all the foliage um, as that fish kited around to my left. So um, I'm not even going to risk using it again. And I've already packed the other rod down. It's already sort of packed down there. Um, as that actually happened, I was, um, I basically, I'd had a bite, got to it too slowly. So I was just recasting it and that fish actually took the hook bait on the drop as I was going to cast it out, would you believe? But it doesn't surprise me because there's loads of fish moving around. I've been, I've had one on the top, been having them going on mixer. There's still plenty of fish out there moving around and I would carry on catching on the top. But I've only got about 45 minutes realistically before I need to go out the gate. So I'm going to just call it quits now and get going. So anyway, it's been good fun. Been pretty exciting. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Only the one car made it into the video, but it was a good little short session. So anyway if you're not subscribed smash that subscribe button give the thumb um give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and um check out the social media that i've been plugging probably throughout the video and until next time get out there be lucky and i'll see you in the next video